What's up guys, my name is Crescent, and guess what? I'm excited to announce that Amazon has finally listened to us. They've been secretly working on a brand new feature, and at the time of making this video, they just announced the release of their brand new Amazon Marketing Stream. What is that, you ask? Well, it says here, we are excited to launch Amazon Marketing Stream Beta, a product that delivers Amazon ads campaign metrics and information in near real time. Now, how many times have you looked at your PPC reports and wished that there was more granular data or that it just simply updated more frequently? I know I have, and it's been extremely frustrating. Well, we don't have to wish any longer. Not only does the new Amazon Marketing Stream offer more detailed reports, it now has near real-time PPC data reporting. That's right. No more painstakingly waiting 48 hours for your PPC reports to update. Several days later. Just this right here is a huge game changer on its own. We can now make strategy changes and see the results immediately instead of having to wait. You can see here that it says, introducing push-based messaging system that provides near real-time access to more detailed ads reporting. We've noticed agencies, tool providers, and direct advertisers are now looking for ways to optimize campaigns intra-day, spending less time on technical setups, access more detailed reporting to help them inform campaign optimizations, and obtain faster access to messages that enable more nimble responses to advertising changes. Amazon Marketing Stream can help you access greater and more timely insights helping you drive deeper optimizations and reduce manual operations. Obtain more detailed reporting to help inform deeper campaign optimizations. Get near real-time messages for timely alerts and campaign management actions. But that's not all. I know we're all trying to stretch our PPC budget, and I see people in our community asking all the time questions like, how much should I be spending on PPC? What should I set my daily budget When should to? I start or stop my PPC campaign? What time of the day or day of the week should I be spending more Should on I only PPC? run PPC during specific hours of the when day? When should I be bidding more on my keywords? How do I know if I'm winning the best ad spots? And the list goes on and on. Well, guess what? Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out and it gets this video out to more people just like you. And it makes doing all this research and producing this content worthwhile for me. And I truly appreciate it. So thank you. And with that said, with the new Amazon Marketing Stream, we now get intraday reports. Now, what does that mean? It means we can now get PPC data broken down by the hour of the day and the day of the week. How powerful is that? Manage campaigns intraday by analyzing hourly variations, helping you optimize campaign attributes such as increasing bids during hours of greater performance, modifying campaign budget and target ASINs throughout the day. Additionally, you can see here that it says, Amazon Marketing Stream can help in the following ways. Optimize campaigns more effectively. Hourly performance metrics provide intraday insights for advanced campaign optimization. For example, during hours of the day when your conversion rate is high, you may want to increase bid amounts or make sure your campaign stays in budget during that time. Respond quickly to campaign changes. Near real-time information such as budget consumption. For example, they may want to increase the campaign budget before it runs out. And more importantly, with the new marketing stream, it helps solve problems in unimagined ways. So for example, to show you how powerful the new Amazon Marketing Stream API is, you can now see your PPC performance broken down by each day of the week, as you can see here. You can see your sales, spend, ACoS, and impressions broken down by each day. This gives you the ability to see which day performs the best and which are the worst. You can also choose which metric you want to show in this graph. In this case, we're looking at the ACoS, which is probably the most important metric you're going to look at. We can see that the ACoS is the highest on Tuesdays and lowest on Wednesdays. And it actually stays relatively constant throughout the week, but steadily increases starting on Sunday. You can take advantage of this data by being more aggressive on the days your ACoS are the lowest, something you couldn't do without this data. You can also take a look at your performance by each hour of the day. This way, you can see if your ACoS is higher earlier in the day or later in the day, for example. And you can optimize your campaign strategies accordingly, such as bidding more aggressively during the times when your ACoS is lower or when your impressions are the highest, or if you're not winning the top of the search ad location. Also, 
As you might already know, the cost per click is typically the highest when ad budgets are reset each day and decreases throughout the day as budgets run out. And depending on where you live, that reset can take place in the mornings or sometimes during the day or night. So by analyzing your campaign data by the hour, you can now verify this and adjust your strategies accordingly. Again, you can see here that throughout the day, the ACoS is the lowest between the hours of 6 a.m. and around 1 p.m., with the ACoS being the highest between 9 p.m. and 1 a.m. And if we take a look at the sales by the time of the day, you can see that the bulk of the sales are between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. Similarly, you can view the data based on the time of the day and the day of the week in this chart here. You can see on this chart that each day of the week, the bulk of the sales are highlighted in the darker blue hours. For example, on Sundays between 12 p.m. and 7 p.m., and Saturdays between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. How incredible is that? Now keep in mind, if you're doing a lot of sales and have a lot of PPC data, looking at this specific report would be very beneficial. However, if you have a smaller account, then you probably won't have too much PPC data to fill this time of day, day of week report. Now, armed with this data, you can now also create bidding schedules to apply to your campaign strategies. You can take advantage of the best time of day or days of the week where your CPC or ACoS is the lowest and automatically adjust your bids. For example, you can create a custom day parting schedule to tailor your PPC bids based on your ACoS and sales reports. You can see here, if you wanna be more aggressive and increase your bids between 4 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Sundays, you can schedule that easily here by making a quick adjustment to your default bids. Let's say you wanna increase your bids by 20%. Just click on the cell, make the edit, and select the hours you'd like the change to apply to, and you're done. Once you have a bidding schedule set up, you can apply the schedule to an entire goal, which is all of your campaigns you've added to the goal, or to specific campaigns or ASINs within a goal. And of course, the whole point of PPC advertising is getting your ads shown in the most prominent ad locations. This is usually at the top of the search results. These are the listings that say sponsored on them. Well, you can now see how well your ads are performing by the hour, and if they're indeed being shown at the top of the search results, or a number of other locations too. For example, by choosing specific keyword phrases, you can see which brands are actually winning the top search ad location based on the time of the day, and if you're among the winning brands. For example, by looking at our search insights, let's say we wanna see how well our ads are performing for the keyword phrase, rock climbing. We can see that on June 16th, our ad was shown at the top of the search results 7.11% of the time, and 6.99% on the 17th. Now, if you wanna see more detailed info, we can click on the keyword phrase and we can see exactly which brands were winning specific ad locations. So if we wanna see who's winning the top of the search location, we can choose it here. We can see that on June 16th, Friction Labs won 32% of the time, Dubs Hardware won 6% of the time, and Jungle Gym Kingdom won 9% of the time, and so on. Now, how powerful is this? With that data available to you now, you can adjust your bidding strategies to make sure you're winning the best ad locations during the best performing hours of the day and days of the week. So now that I've shown you all of the cool new features, I know you're asking yourself, where can I get access to this? Well, it's not available from Amazon or through your Seller Central account. The software that you've been watching me use is called Perpetua Stream, and it's exclusively available from Perpetua the leader in providing marketing data for your Amazon business. What I've shown you today is just a tiny fraction of what it has to offer. So what I suggest you do is schedule a free demo of their software with one of their marketing specialists and find out what it can do for you. And use my promo code CRESCENTKO to get 50% off your first two months. I'll leave a link down in the video description below as well as links to a few other videos and how their free tools can help you analyze and optimize your PPC campaigns that you can start using right now for free. So if you wanna get in touch with me, you can find all of my contact details in the video description below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment or question in the comment section below. I answer every single one. And as always, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and do me a favor, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out and I'd appreciate it. And make sure you ring the bell so you never miss a future video. All right, thanks for watching.